The fourth place that Jesus shed his blood for us was when he was crowned with the crown of thorns. And we can read about this in Matthew 27, verses 27 through 31. This is where they crowned Jesus with a crown of thorns. And we need to understand that this was not just some pretty little dainty little wreath with tiny thistles that they placed upon his head. No, this was a crown of, of large, thick thorns. And when they placed it upon his head, they not only mocked him and spit on him, they started to beat upon his head. And as they beat upon his head, it caused those thorns to pierce into his skull. Again, this, like everything else, could have killed him. But Jesus knew it was not his time to give up his spirit. And we need to also remember that Jesus went through this as a human being would. He did not cheat. He's not a swindler. He endured great suffering to redeem us from all forms of the curse and, yes, including sickness and disease. Jesus, when he was crowned with the crown of thorns, this was very significant for us because as we read over in Genesis 3, verses 17 and 18, we see when, we read about when Adam and Eve were kicked out of the Garden of Eden and God said that the ground was now cursed with thorns. Thorns are a symbol of the curse. And when Jesus, this was no accident that this was done, when Jesus was crowned with the crown of thorns, he was actually being crowned the curse the king of the curse for you and me.